Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live, live, live from Bangkok, Thailand, guys. Remember, everything you see here is not financial advice. So, guys, let's get ready to go down the crypto rabbit hole with the Ric Flair of crypto in house, guys. We got the brilliant alien in the house right here, right now. And uh, we're going to be talking about Luna Classic, its road to dropping another couple of zeros, guys. So, we're going to talk about, you know, my price predictions, how and when we could be seeing more zeros being dropped off uh, Luna Tuna. And, uh, it, is it going to be possible? Is it not going to be possible? You're going to have to watch this video to the end. We got some interesting Dogecoin news. We got some also interesting Dogecoin news that you know with Elon Musk kind of peppered in there. So hopefully this will send Dogecoin to the moon. And we're also going to be talking about Bitcoin, the bottom indicators, and much much more out there. So if this sounds interesting, guys, get ready to go down the crypto rabbit hole once again with OG. Don't forget to go down there, smash the like, watch all the other previous videos, and become our members, guys. So let's get it. Let's zoom in right now. Woo! It's a great time to be alive. So right now we can see that the fear and greed index is down did, 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 down down compared to where it was uh, yesterday and one of the reasons for that is uh, because yesterday we saw that the markets were tankity tanky and uh, you know but, but the sentiment the social sentiment is getting it's kind of getting negative people are getting tired people are getting gloom and doom out there but we're still seeing that Luna Luna Classic is still mooning mooning guys absolutely money mooning and this is a fantastic absolutely fantastic time to be alive guys so let's get it we take a look at the heat heat map right now it's a glorious day out there we're seeing that ethereum is up 7.28 percent we're seeing a biddy is at 19,236 and that's up about 2.5 percent so that is cool beans in-house guys so if you guys also think that is cool beans smash the likes subscribe like never before and go down there there's a heart mark it looks like it looks like that go get it give super thanks super chats if you're watching the live stream it is great time to be alive we're seeing right now the pre-markets are almost neutral out there so so it's anybody guess uh, where the um, uh, broader market is going to be going. Remember, people are still running scared, running wild after Putin said, let them freeze in Europe, guys. Absolutely let them freeze in Europe because he ain't messing around, guys, because we all know that he, that China is uh, going to buy the oil, the coal and the natural gas and just resell it to Europe. So it's going to be this whole circle of, uh, uh, of craziness out there. So that's what's going to be going with that. And it just means it's going to be costing more and more. We're seeing that the Japanese yen has absolutely tankity tank tank. And it is its lowest it's been in 24 year low. Ow, MG. So we're seeing a lot, as I said in my previous video, we're seeing a lot of debasement of most of the global currencies out there. And that is not good. And that is why we're seeing the DXY pumpity pumping guys and this is the highest have ever been oh you know we have not got th gotten this high before guys it's absolutely insane and uh, we're at 109.680 and that's going to be putting more and more downward pressure on itty bitty baby out there keep on watching guys we still got the huge luna tuna news we're going to talk about dogecoin first we're going to talk about luna and then we're going to be talking about some of the top news that's coming in for cryptocurrency and how that may affect you so if that sounds interesting guys get ready to smash the lights because here it comes guys right now we're seeing that uh, big bitcoin is at uh, 19,000 uh, and uh, well, uh, Bitcoin is at $19,262 my brain frozen i was about to say 1900 and then I'm like bleh, frozen out there you ever had those uh, moments when your brain just freezes i just had one of those so we're seeing we have this huge descending triangle we're seeing that uh, you know the uh, pur purple rain line is acting as huge support so that is pretty good uh the 18,900 uh, level has held and it is still holding but gingerly gingerly guys uh for me to feel more comfortable out there we need to get ourselves up to about 19,900 but there's a big indicator that's coming in that shows that bitcoin could be at its bottom so we're to be talking about that if we take a look at that bitcoin uh, on the weekly right now we're seeing a, a pretty nasty red candle out there and we're seeing a low so far this week of around about 18,547 and uh, it was a high of about 20,000. So let's hopefully we can get up there. And last week we did close at a high of around about 20,000. So we need to get above 20,000, uh, uh, 20,600 to confirm a better week than last week. We can still see that the MACD is looking good, guys. The MACD is looking okay from that perspective. So uh, if you take a look at Bitcoin right now, we're seeing that 47% of all Bitcoin holds are in the money. And we're seeing a bit of an indicator out there uh, that uh, shows, let me just get that indicator for it. We can see that right now we're seeing that you know if 50 percent of uh if 50 percent of bitcoin holders are uh in dips below 50 percent this is often a huge uh indicator that the bottom is in and last time we saw that was in january 2019 and january 20 so this looks like a huge indicator out there and as i said out there the, 
you know, we're absolutely seeing that. So this is a huge indicator that the bottom is in. So hopefully we're going to start to see crypto reversing to the uppity upside. So right now, for the rise of Dogecoin, we're seeing the Dogecoin is holding pretty steady at uh, six cents out there. We're seeing that the volumes are volumes right now are light on Dogecoin. Uh, I think everybody's, uh, I think all the Dogecoin holders are aping and going nuts on Luna Classic. We've got some huge news for that. So guys, keep on keeping on. I'm going to talk to you how we're going to shave off a ton of zeros. And, uh, you know, it could be possible, guys. And we can also see that how this uh, Luna Classic, the community-driven Luna Classic, is now 12x better than the one that, uh, you know, Doquan was uh, taking care of, guys. So that's going to be interesting. So we're seeing that the volumes are down 37% uh, out there. We're seeing that the total market cap is up 2.15%. So that is pretty good. And that's just because the price moved. What else is coming in for the Deja Woja right now? We're also seeing that Elon Musk $258 billion uh, lawsuit. Remember, this was this knucklehead that was saying that, uh, you know, it's a big Ponzi scheme out there and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Well, it looks like, it absolutely looks like out there that uh, they're also going after not only uh, Elon Musk, but also they're going after the Dogecoin Foundation uh, Boring Company now under the radar. So now they're going after the Dogecoin Foundation, they're going after Boring Company, and they're just claiming that Elon Musk it's a great Ponzi scheme and he was manipulating pump and dump. I mean, I don't think this is going to be seeing light of day. I think this is just somebody making a lot of noise so Elon Musk can just pay them out to not go to court because all the court fees is going to cost more. So I think it's just going to be, there's some, it's just a money grab out there. That's what I think is happening out there. So right now we're also seeing that the social sentiment for Doge, social mentions, mentions is down uh, in the last seven days. And we're seeing that uh, the social engagement is down as well. And that's pretty, that's absolutely uh, contradictory when it comes to, when it comes to Terra Luna Classic. Terra Luna Classic is 103% up. Wow. 105% uh, uh, in terms of social mentions. And uh, that is pretty cool. We're seeing 91% uh, price rise in the last seven days now remember guys be a little bit cautious because this is down compared to where it was yesterday guys so watch out for this i often watch this as a huge leading indicator for where i see that uh, uh luna classic is going to go so it's come down a little bit right now the price is up at uh, 005325 we're going to be talking in detail how we're going to shave off some zeros guys so it's going to be cool beans in the house what else is coming in we talked about dogecoin foundation we talked about Apple. Also, we have the Apple launch of the new iPhone 14, the new Ultra Watch and all this kind of stuff. But it looks like Apple cryptocurrency scam leads 165,000 people to fake crypto websites. So it looks like these, uh, these knuckleheads out there, what they were doing is uh, basically they launched their own website and they used an old uh, old uh, uh, Tim Cook interview. And uh, basically they were, a lot of people believe this was like the Apple launch and they were taking people away, away uh, from uh, from the, uh, you know, the the real deal. So the fake live stream at, at Banners Display, Apple buying 100,000 Bitcoins and Tim Cook is organizing giveaway of crypto guys. So, you know, we've seen all of these, you know, fake, fakety, fake, fake, uh, you know, videos out there for time and time again. Some of them with like Kathy Wood, some of them with like Elon, some of like all this. So it's just another out there. So that's why you guys have to be careful out there with your cryptocurrency. And if it sounds too good to be true, it ain't true, guys. Don't don't get don't get bamboozled. Don't get bamboozled out there. And, and guys and gals, don't forget to secure your crypto on a Nano Ledger wallet. My affiliate link is down there. If you are not securing your crypto on a hardware wallet, these guys can take it from you. So watch out if you don't own the keys, don't own the crypto. So that is what that's all about. So what is going on right now for Luna Classic? Here we go. The road to shaving off a whole bunch of zeros out there. So right now, this is the uh, Luna Classic on the 30 day time frame. And if you guys take a look at, if you take a look at where we were at the beginning of September to where we are now, you guys can see that Luna Classic is up about 124%. So what we're doing right now, and you can see here, if we look at right here, this is, uh, let me just pull that chart down this here is the the red is the 20 day ema and every time luna classic bounces above the 20 20 day ema we often get a nice pump to the upside guys so that is pretty good and if this if this pans out i'm seeing that we could be seeing by the end of the in the next two weeks another 120 124 percent pump and if that pump comes in that will take us to approximately the 0012. So I believe in the next two weeks, we're going to shave off another zero. So that all, that all depends on if, 
uh, all depends on a couple of stuff. We need a uh, Luna Classic to stay above uh, above uh, 0051 cents out there. And I believe that we're going to be repeat ourselves because remember, we've got the burn, guys. We've got 1.2% burn. Binance is in. KuCoin, uh, Gate.io is in there. So a lot of people are in there. And I think that the community is still strong. We can see that the community is absolutely still strong. And just take a look at this. If this starts to dip, if this starts to dip and gets into the teens or the 20s, then things won't be looking good. But as long as we're in the 100 percentiles, as long as we're above 50%, things will still be looking good uh, for Luna Classic. And I think that we're gonna see another 100 to 120% pump in the next two to three weeks, guys. And if that happens, that's definitely gonna shave off a zero. And if this continues, if this trajectory continues, we can see by the end of October, uh, October, November, December, being about one cent in the house. So I'm targeting about one cent in the house for Luna Tuna, guys. Smash the likes, subscribe, Tell me what you think. Is it going to be insane that Luna gets to one cent, guys? I'd love to hear what you got to say. I think, you know, if we continue like this, we could absolutely be seeing that coming in. Now, I'm not, not trying to tell you to buy. I'm not telling anyone to buy. I'm not telling anyone to sell. What I'm saying is if we based on the if we based on the support levels, we based on the social sentiment out there, and I use social sentiment as a huge driver of price. And we saw that with Dogecoin, remember we saw that with Dogecoin, that if the social sentiment, as I've just shown you, continues continues to be in the 50 percentiles and we stay in double digits, this will also indicate that the buyers are still active, the community is still strong. If we start to get into the teens, then 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 the price will collapse, absolute price will collapse. We've got the burn happening, I told you about that. So there is a possibility that we could be hitting one cent uh, by, by the end of the year. So guys, do you think one cent is coming in? Guys, I'd love to hear what you got to say about that. Uh, remember, you know, do your own risk management, never invest more than you're willing to lose, and do take profits along the way. I took some profits yesterday. I did take some profits, so take profits, guys. Absolutely take profits. So right now we're seeing that the Luna is at 005313, uh, and that's up 50.84%. We're seeing the market cap is, market cap is around uh, 3.2 trillion, and we're seeing that the volume, the total amount, the total market cap is being traded every single day. So this is huge, guys. There's still a lot of, a lot of, people looking at Luna and a lot of people going nuts on Luna. So that is pretty good from that perspective. So there is a lot of FOMO right there. We're still seeing the number of addresses or wallets uh, increasing. This is increasing guys. We're at about 11,385 wallets and we were at 11,261. So we're seeing a daily, daily increase in the number of addresses. So that's what we're gonna see. We want to see daily, daily increases. I mean, if you look at Doge, if you look at the Doge wallets here, we can still see that Doge wallets are basically flat, guys. It's just going and that's why we're seeing not much price movement because we're not increasing the number of addresses. We're just going flatline from that perspective. So that is pretty cool beans, guys. That is absolutely cool beans out there. So it looks like community-led Terra Luna Classic is now worth 12x more than the Do Kwan led uh, Terra Luna Classic. Uh, so that is just going to show the power, the absolute power, the absolute power of the community. Terra Luna Classic is currently have a market cap of about 3.3 billion, roughly 12x higher than Terra Luna's 258 a million, guys. So that is insane. That is insane. So that is insane. That is positive. And that's one of the things that also fueling uh, Luna Classic revival, guys. Uh, so the market cap is cool, guys. Three billion. And I, as I told you, if you if you go back here, and I just I just showed you, and it, 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 my bad. I did say three trillion. My bad. I meant to say three billion, three point two billion. And but we're seeing that the volume, three point three billion, is being traded. So the total total market cap is being traded on a singular day. So that is cool, guys. Absolutely cool. What else is coming? Breaking Terra Classic uh, L U N C reaches reaches prices at zero zero five and uh, target guys. So as I said, this is the 05 level was uh, my resistance level. We have broken past that and we're well above that. So I think this is looking good. Let's take a look at this, what's, uh, what it looks like on the daily. Uh, so if we take, let me uh, refresh that, refresh that. So if you take a look at it on the daily, it, guys, a beautiful, beautiful pattern out there. If we take a look at it on the four hour chart, also a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pattern out there. Things are looking absolutely fantastic out there. And as long as you stay above this level, and I think we're gonna be staying above this level, it's gonna be absolutely huge, huge in the house, guys. So let's pump it up, guys. Let's absolutely pump it up. And like I said, right now, I mean, I did buy, I did buy my Luna at 0026. It's, it's trading at 0531. So I'm up, guys. I'm up uh, almost 100%. 
uh, at 500 bucks guys so right now if you invest 500 500 uh, Luna at the current price which is a 0531 0, 0, 0, three zeros of 531 out there and uh, you were to take that up to uh, one cent this is what you'd be worth guys you'd be worth a ton so guys and gals you'd be up ninety one thousand dollars so if you put in 500 bucks right now and uh you know and you can you hold it till the end of the year when we get one cent you're going to be worth ninety one thousand dollars if we add another zero there you're going to be you're going to be worth uh you're going to have a profit of about eight thousand bucks guys so it's looking pretty good i mean i'm willing to hold out there even if we even if we uh add another zero with that five hundred dollars you're going to be you're going to be worth uh, you know, $422 in profit, guys. So I think we're definitely going to be shaving off two more zeros. We're going to hit one cent by the end of the year. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's possible, guys. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Don't take me wrong. I'm not saying, oh, we're going to hit one cent. But there's a possibility if the social sentiment continues to continue, continue on, guys. So it's looking pretty good out there. Uh, I talked about this. We're seeing a huge bottom indicator. Uh, we're also seeing this coming in, guys. I thought this was kind of funny. I was in, I was, uh, I went to 7-Eleven this morning with the kiddo, and uh, he was looking for candy. And I, and I saw this candy. It's called poo poo candy. And when the markets, when, when, you know, when the markets crash, eat poo, guys. So poo poo candy only in Bangkok. So I just thought this was kind of weird and wacky out there. Uh, I, Bangkok, you can find everything. Uh, I mean, it's just weird. If you want to eat poo, it's strawberry. It basically, it's strawberry flavored poo. I thought it was kind of interesting, kind of a chuckle like a British pound has dropped the lowest level versus usd in, in since 1985 wow 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 so you see a lot of the currencies are just going nuts bitcoin is second largest red candle in binance history interesting to watch volume keep picking up more and more this is a key area of demand so we're seeing that yesterday the second largest red candle sell-off red candle in the history of binance and i still believe that you know bitcoin between 16,000 and uh, 20,000 is a huge buy zone i think that's a bottom guys we're absolutely in the bottom and i think we're going to see a mid term rally pretty soon and i believe by the end of the year q1 uh, next year we're going to be seeing a huge huge uh, re revival of bitcoin and you know that could take luna up to one cent guys we could be seeing luna tuna going up to one cent guys so hold wait for life changing wealth it's a great time to be alive guys but remember do pay yourself do absolutely take profits guys looks like bear market will soon end and bitcoin will pump once more and this is from uh, paterna capital out there so this is huge out there also we're seeing justin coinbase ftx binance and other exchanges fall under sec jurisdiction says sec chair so let's see let's see what happens if that gets confirmed all right now we're also seeing gamestop announces partnership with ftx so that is pretty good gets a pretty good partnership out there uh what else we're seeing right now uh top 10 richest people out there we got elon musk bernard arnold we got jeff bezos so it looks like jeff bezos is not number two anymore uh we got uh, guntum adani we got larry elson we got bill gates warren buffett uh moose cash ambani 94 billion larry page and sergey brim so we're seeing a lot of guys from america are like billionaires out there like total crazy billionaire so that's kind of huge let's take a look what's going with the shibi weeby right now so shibi's looking pretty good we're seeing that the uh, the 12 area is support is holding and it's looking pretty pretty good for the sheeps out there uh but you know if you take a look at the sheep social sentiment uh it is dropping right now and that is not helping that is absolutely not helping we're seeing social mentions up but as i said when the social engagement starts to drop off you're going to start to see the fundamentals of the price drop off and the only thing that's going to be driving price for shibi Inu right now is going to be bitcoin and the basic cryptocurrencies uh, market going up and down. So hopefully you kind of understand what I'm saying. Social sentiment will add a huge bonus out there. And that is why we're seeing, that is why we're seeing uh, Luna Classic pumping. So right now we're seeing that uh, that uh, Ethereum is coming back at 1634. Don't forget we got the merge on the 15th. And we also got the ADA uh, vassal fork happening on the 22nd. So don't discount ADA out there, guys and gals. So let's take a look at the leverage apes that you get out of here. About $198 million with the wreckage. Not too, not too bad. We're seeing that uh, mainly on the hourly right now it is a uh, short so that's going to help propel the bitcoin price out and if you take a look at who's short and what we're seeing that right now we got a lot of shorts on the last 24 hours for luna classic out there a lot of leverage not only shorts but also longs we're also seeing that uh, dogecoin is not in there so that is pretty good from that perspective and uh, let's take a look at the total curve market cap capital we're at one trillion yes 
and uh, the alien lights, the brilliant alien, Mr. Brilliant alien, we're seeing that uh, the bombs are slightly down from where they were earlier, and the Bitcoin dominance is coming down. So we're seeing that uh, the Ethereum dominance is going up right now. It's almost at 20, so that is pretty good news out there. So overall, we're seeing a uh, pretty, pretty good good return everything is in the green so that is good everything is uppity up up uh, doge is up 2.33 percent we're seeing that uh, that matic is up we're seeing shiba inu is up uh, we're seeing everything is looking pretty pretty good we got luna classic is moving into the top 20 spot guys luna classic has just moved to the 24 spot so that is huge 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 out there guys so guys you should be loving it it's up 437 percent in three days guys you gotta love that that is insane insane will this continue will this rocket ride continue i mean like i said what I'm going to be watching for and what you should be watching for, you need to keep tuning in to my channel and keep watching this. This is going to be a huge indicator of price out there, guys. So that's going to bring this video to a closey woozy. Don't forget to go and follow me on my Twitter, guys. Follow, follow, follow. Uh, don't forget to go down and smash the likes, subscribe me, and don't forget to give super chats and super thanks in, 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 in down there, guys. And don't forget to check out all the Linky Winks, guys. All the links can be found right here. Check out the Linky Winkies, guys. And, uh, you know, we've got the Dogecoin tippy jar, guys. Get that, get that. Uh, go and send some Dogecoin dust. Send some love. Uh, buy, the, buy the channel and coffee. Become a Patreon member. And the Nano Ledger link is down there as well. And get the merch, guys. Get the merch gear with the OG merch because that's going to bring this video to a close. I am officially tired out there. It's a great time to be alive. If you're in Luna Classic, woo-hoo-hoo -hoo, to the moon, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.